This is a 34-year-old woman with medically refractory epilepsy since 6 years of age. She is developmentally delayed and has multiple seizure types including tonic seizures, she has rare atonic seizures, atypical absence seizures and tonic-clonic seizures. In the past she experienced frequent myoclonic seizures. She has tried multiple anti-epileptic drugs but continues to have 5 to 6 seizures every week. Let's start with their EEG here. So these are the EEG reading rounds. Just a quick recap. Electrodes which end with an odd number are recording from the left side of the brain. Electrodes that end with an even number are recording from the right side of the brain. The alphabets designate the local location of these electrodes. So FP is frontopolar, C is central, P is parietal, O is occipital. This is an EKG lead. FZ, CZ and PZ, these are midline electrodes. So this person, if you look at this EEG, there are no eye blinks, there is no muscle and there is slow background which tells you that this person is probably asleep at this time. A striking feature is the sharp wave which face reverses at C3 which is the left central head region. So left central sharp wave, then you have a sharp wave at T3, so this face reversal at T3, so you see maximal negativity in that location. Let's move on. You see generalized bursts of slowing and sharp waves. These are slow spikes and multifocal spikes. These are generalized bursts of sharp waves with maximal amplitudes in the frontal and temporal head region. In this, on this page, this is most prominent on the left hemisphere. There is a sharp wave that is seen on the left side as well. So the background is slowing. We, the background is slow. Excuse me. We see generalized bursts of sharps. We see slow spike in wave and poly spike in wave discharges in a generalized distribution. Okay, let's keep going. And then we see another sharp wave here. We see these sharp waves slow spike in wave discharges. So if you look at the frequency, it's not very well organized. You see this slow activity. You see sharp waves that precede that. Now in the clinical context of the medically refractory epilepsy, multiple seizure types specifically involving atypical absence, atonic seizures, tonic seizures, and myoclonic seizures, you can consider a possible diagnosis of lennox gastaut syndrome. So lennox gastaut syndrome is an epileptic encephalopathy, typically starts between 1 to 7 years of age. The patients who have this diagnosis are cognitively challenged. The seizures are very difficult to control and there are many different types of seizures. Along with those seizure types, if you see this specific pattern, so the pattern of slow spike in wave discharge in a generalized distribution, you might start considering the possibility that these patients have lennox gastaut syndrome. This is another run of intraictal EG. You see generalized slowing, but you also see independent sharp waves in the left parasagittal and left temporal head region. Another, another characteristic findings in patients with lennox gastaut syndrome are these generalized discharges that are seen in non-REM sleep. These are called paroxysmal fast activity. Although this is considered an intraictal epileptic activity, in some studies, some there have been publications where electrodes were placed on the paraspinal muscles and subclinical motor activity was seen in association with these paroxysmal fast activity arguing whether this represents an intraictal or an ictal phenomena. So the key features of lennox gastaut syndrome are the multi multiple seizure types, cognitive delay, and slow spike and wave along with paroxysmal fast activity. Let's keep going here. More of those sharp waves that are seen pre in, on this page predominantly in the left hemisphere. So this is a seizure that was recorded. 
although it does not look a whole lot different than the intractal discharge the patient was asleep and I had a brief uh, uh, she was covered with the bed sheet she had a brief tonic episode that lasted for two to three seconds and there was no further motor activity and this slow activity just followed after that this is another seizure this started with the motor activity there was a one to two second of a brief tonic activity involving both the upper arms and then patient had brief clonic jerks so this corresponds this activity here corresponds to the clonic jerks that were recorded during sleep and you can see that this goes for almost 25 to 30 seconds it although it starts with a fast activity it tends to slow down as the seizure progresses so that's the end of this discussion here I have some multiple choice questions at the end of this discussion so I would appreciate if you at least make an attempt to uh, finish those multiple choice questions and I'll see you at the next tutorial thank you so much